Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rossi. Today we are going to create our own Greg Mike inspired loudmouth collage. What you will be needing today is a pencil, an eraser, something to trace with. I'm going to use a black Sharpie, but you can use any kind of marker. I also have some extra markers here of all different colors that I'm going to use. I would recommend using markers today, but if you have colored pencils or crayons to color with, that'll work too. Today, you're also going to need a scissor and a glue stick because we are making a collage. So we need to cut and glue some paper together. And then we're going to need our Greg Mike paper from our art folder. So this is a stack of different colored papers of different sizes. In your art folder, it should be labeled with a paper clip and a piece of paper that says Greg Mike or loudmouth collage. So you should have two pieces of colored construction paper. You should have a small black piece of paper, a big black and white paper, and then an extra white piece. All right, so I'm going to put my white and black papers to the side, and I'm going to look at my two options of colored papers. So I gave you guys two different colors to pick from today. So we're going to use one of these to make our loud mouth collage and the other one we can set aside or if you ever want to make a second one, you can do that. I think I'm going to use my purple today to make my collage. I'm going to set aside my yellow in case I want any extra paper later or if I want to make a second one. So now holding my purple paper, I am going to hold it so it is tallest going up and down. We call that vertical. My paper is almost a square, so you might have to turn it around a couple of times to see which way it looks tallest standing up. Once I have that, I'm going to grab my smaller black piece of paper, and this is going to be my mouth for my collage. So our loud mouths, like Greg Mike's, have big open mouths that look like they're almost shouting. So I'm going to leave that nice and big towards the bottom of my purple paper. And then I'm going to leave a nice big space up at the top so I can add some big eyes. Now looking at the other papers that we have, we have some white and black papers here that we're going to use today. So I'm going to grab my biggest white paper and I'm going to use this paper to draw some details. So on my white paper, I'm going to draw some eyes that I can cut out and glue to my loud mouth. So at the top of this white paper, I'm going to draw two big circles. And those are going to be the eyes for my loud mouth. Now maybe you want your loud mouth to have three eyes, or instead of two eyes, one huge eye at the top. It is totally up to you. I'm going to give mine two eyes today, but yours does not have to look like mine. After I've drawn it in pencil, I'm going to grab my scissor and I'm going to carefully cut out my eyes with my scissor. I'm going to go nice and slow around my paper and cut out that circle shape. Now it is okay if yours is not perfect and there's still some pencil lines showing. I'm going to cut out my second eye and I'm going to put this paper and my scissor to the side for right now. So now I have two big eyes for my loud mouth and I can place those right where I want them. I'm not going to glue anything down yet. I'm just going to put everything where I think it will belong and then I will glue at the end. Now I want my eyes to have that colored part, the iris, like we have in our eye. So we wanna add a colored part to our eyes so I'm going to take that same piece of paper that I just used and I'm going to draw a smaller circle. And this circle is going to be the colored parts of my eyes. So I'm going to cut those two out with my scissor. So I wanna color these two in. So I'm going to put my white paper to the side and I'm going to grab my big black paper. I'm going to put my eyes on it and I'm going to grab some markers. And now I can choose what color I want the inside of my loudmouth's eyeballs to be. Now, I think I want my loudmouth to have some bright green eyes, so I'm going to take my green marker. You can use whatever color you would like. And I'm just going to carefully color in my white paper to be the color that I want it. And I'm doing this on top of my black paper so that I don't get my table messy if I color off the edge by accident. 
because it's not going to really show up on our black paper. Now I have one green eyeball and I'm going to do the other. I'm just holding this down carefully with one finger as I am coloring it in. And I'm making sure to fill in that whole space coloring back and forth nice and slowly. And I can put my markers to the side for right now. And now I have two big green irises to go inside my loudmouth's eyeballs. Now I also want a pupil in there. So on this same black paper, all the way at the bottom, I'm going to draw two tiny circles that I can cut out and put in as my pupils. There we go. So now my loudmouth has eyes and I can decide where I want to put the pupils to show where he's looking. I think I want mine to be looking towards the side. So I'm going to put them on the side of the green part of my eye. If you want yours to be looking at you, you can put them right in the center of that green part, but it is up to you. I think I'm going to take a pause and I'm going to glue my eyes together so that I don't lose any of those pieces. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some glue to my green paper and I am going to stick on my little black pupil because I don't want to lose that since it is such a small piece of paper. So there we go, we got one. I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. There we go, and now I can add some glue to the back of my green paper that I made and stick that on the white part of my eye. And now if you'll notice that original circle that I drew before I made my green paper in pencil is still on the back. So I colored the opposite side. I did not color the side that had pencil on it so that I could add glue to my pencil side because we don't really want to see that pencil line. If you colored over it, you probably can't see it anymore anyway. But just so you guys know, I always glue so that the pencil side is hidden on the back. I'm also gonna glue these eyes straight on my purple paper so I don't lose those. I'm putting mine right at the top, but if you're putting more eyes than me, you might wanna move them around a little bit so you can decide where that is going to go. All right, the next thing I'm going to work on is my loudmouth's mouth. So I'm going to grab that white piece of paper that I used to cut out my eyes, and I'm going to draw some teeth on here. Now I can decide if I want round teeth or if I want pointy teeth, it is up to you. I think I want round teeth. I'm going to make them flat across the top and then do a big U shape coming down to make my teeth. I think I'm going to have three teeth across the top and three teeth across the bottom. Now, Greg Mike's Larry Loudmouth was known for having a chipped tooth. So if you would like to give one of your teeth a chip in it, you just do a little zigzag line to make it look like a piece is missing. Now I'm going to make some more teeth. I want these for the bottom. So I'm going to do an upside down version of those same teeth that I just drew. Now I'm going to cut these teeth out of my paper. There I have one. Again, I'm flipping it over so that pencil side is facing down and I don't see it. So now I arranged my teeth to see where I want them to go. I'm going to hold on to these scraps because I might be able to use them later. And I'm going to take the rest of that white piece of paper. And now before I glue down my teeth, I want to add a tongue. And to make my tongue, I am going to make a straight line going across the bottom and I'm going to do a curved, almost like the letter M, across the top. I'm going to color that in pink and cut it and cut it out. And my tongue for my loud mouth is going to go behind my teeth. So I'm going to scoop my teeth out of the way and place my tongue in there. And then when I glue on my teeth, my teeth can actually go over the tongue. So then it looks like it's inside its mouth just like that. And I'm going to glue all of that down now with my glue stick, making sure I'm adding glue to the side where I still see any pencil lines and sticking them on where I placed them. So I glued everything down inside my mouth. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put some glue 
on the back of this black piece of paper and I'm going to glue that down to my purple piece. And now my lab mouth is almost done. I still have some extra white paper left and I have some extra black paper so I could add any other details that I'd like. I think with my black paper, I'm going to cut out two rectangles and give my loud mouth some eyebrows. Maybe you wanna give yours eyelashes. Maybe you wanna give your loud mouth some spikes across the top of his head. Whatever you would like to add as some extra details, once you've added your mouth and your eyes, you can. Even if you have extra colored construction paper at home, you can always use that to add extra details. So I cut out two rectangles and I'm going to glue those on right above my eyes here, just to give them a little bit more of a personality. And I'm going to put them in different positions. That looks good. So now I think I like the way my lab mouth looks right now. So I'm going to leave him how he is. And I am going to look at the extra paper that I have left that I haven't used. So I still have a big white piece of paper that I haven't used. And I have the yellow paper that I haven't used. Now, if I want to add any extra details, like maybe I want to put a hat on my loud mouth or I want to give it hair or arms. I can do that with my extra yellow paper or with the extra white and black paper I have left. But on this big last piece of white paper, I'm actually going to make a speech bubble for my loud mouth. So I'm going to look at my loud mouth and think, hmm, what does he want to say? And I'm going to draw a speech bubble. So to make a speech bubble, I'm doing a point, kind of like a triangle. And you can do a rectangular speech bubble where you just draw a big square, or you can do a round speech bubble that is like a circle. I'm going to do a big round speech bubble, just like that. And now I can decide what my loud mouth is saying. Of course, you want to make sure what your loud mouth is saying is school appropriate and try and make it go along with how he looks. So mine looks a little confused. He's raising an eyebrow, he's looking to the side. So I think mine's going to say, what's that? Now I'm going to use my black marker to trace my speech bubble, but you can use any kind of colored marker or whatever you have at home. And I'm going to trace my words in a color. So I'm going to trace my words in blue. I'm going to take my eraser and just erase any pencil lines that I still see now that I've traced. There we go. And now I can cut my speech bubble out. And now I'm just going to glue my speech bubble so it is coming from out of my loud mouth's mouth. So this time I'm only going to put a little bit of glue on the pointy part of my speech bubble and just along the edge. I don't want to put glue on the whole thing because the whole thing is not getting stuck to my loud mouth. It's only that one little section. So now it looks like what he's saying is actually coming out of its mouth. But just like that, my loud mouth is all finished. Like I said, you're going to have a lot of extra paper left over. So if you want to add any details with that extra colored piece of paper or with your white and black pieces of paper, you can always do that. Your project does not have to look exactly like mine. And once you are finished, you can take a picture of your project or a short video and upload it on our assignment page on Canvas. So you're going to click the next button at the bottom of this page and go to submit assignment. It is that big blue button on the assignment page and you can take a photo or video of your loud mouth to share it with me. I can't wait to see the amazing things you guys create Try your best, have fun, and get creative. Bye.